Well, first of all, I think you have to really compliment LSU. Uh, they showed great resiliency in the second half. They made a lot of plays, uh, made a couple big plays that were certainly the difference in the game. Um, you know, they, they, they played a good, did a good job. They had a good plan. Uh, they did a good job. They did a couple things that, you know, threw us off a little bit. Um, we didn't stop the run as well in the second half as we had in the first, and a couple big plays that they hit on us were really critical and really the difference in the game. Um, at the same time, you know, we made our share of mistakes. We certainly had our opportunities. Uh, we knew that we would have to play a complete game uh, and we would have to play our best game of the year uh, and be the best team that we are capable of being. I'm playing in a situation like this against a very good football team, and uh, I don't think we did that, especially in the second half. Uh, we're probably fortunate with all the poor field position in the beginning of the game. Um, defense made a couple great stops where – uh, they didn't get any points. Uh, that was huge for us. Uh, but we didn't take advantage of opportunities in the second half, and they most certainly did. Um, you know, we had them third and 14 where we could get the ball back at the end of the game after all that and let them hit a big play pass. Um, so, you know, when you do things like that, I guess you really don't deserve to win. Uh, but I think that um, giving them all the credit, um, I think that this whole year, you know, everyone around us has been, you know, very concerned about the results uh, that the team gets in comparison to what was accomplished a year ago. Um, and I think that that has not been the best thing for the development of this team. Uh, I think they have become too result oriented and we've never really ever developed to be as good a team as we can be and to be as good a team as we're capable of. And to me as the coach, and as the coach, I've always talked about playing to a standard. I've always talked about being the best you can be. Um, and we're still going to work hard uh, to try to get this team to be just that. And I think it'll take a commitment on all the players' part. And it's not about what you can accomplish and what you can't accomplish. It's a matter of being able to answer the question, did I play as well as I can play? Am I as good a player as I can be? Am I the best competitor I can be? Do I execute and do my job with discipline that it takes to play winning football? And, you know, those are the things I think we need to improve on um, because that's what leads to the errors that allows teams to get big plays and make plays in critical situations. Um, and that's something that we're going to improve on and we're going to work hard with our players. And I think it's up to every player to make a commitment to do that and finish this season the right way. Well, I think the turnovers were critical in the game. Um, I feel like we did a decent job in special teams. I don't feel that our uh, specialist, you know, had great days today. Um, you know, we, we had a plan to kick the ball away from seven on the punts, and we didn't get that executed a few times, uh, and it hurt us in field position. You know, the kickoff coverage was pretty good. I thought we did a pretty good job in that regard. Uh, I think they didn't get any they didn't get any points out of their fake. Um, and that was we probably should have been in a different fourth and three or whatever uh, around the 40-yard line. They have a tendency to do that kind of thing. If you're in any kind of return, we probably should have been a little safer, you know, type of return there. And that's not really on the players. That's on us. No, we had a guy. We have an, a guy that's on the edge. You know, that's coming off the edge. It's supposed to play and look ahead of the play, and um, you know, that 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 should have. If we, it goes back to the same old thing, if everybody executes and does what they're supposed to do, eye control and discipline, which is important in this game, that wouldn't be an issue. So. Well, they did a good job. Um, we, we we didn't do a very good job against their tray formation. We had a coverage bust on the long pass um, and uh, was a good throw and a good catch and a good run, but we busted the coverage. Um, I, I think that some of the things they did in a run game, you know, confused us a little bit in the second half. Um, 
And then I think that we, we got on our heels a little bit. Uh, but I do think that they played extremely well in the second half. You mean? Well, he just um, had a little sore knee. Um, we thought he could play. Um, but then the longer it went, the stiffer he got. So then uh, we didn't play him much. Well, they did a great job. You know, they, they're very quick up front. You know, we said one of the goals that we had coming into the game was not to uh, get a lot of negative plays. Uh, and get behind and down a distance, and you know they 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 did that. We 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 did not run the ball consistently enough or effectively enough to uh, stay ahead in the sticks and on the down and distance. I thought we threw the ball okay, um, but we can't, became a little bit too one dimensional. And I don't know how many sacks they had. I didn't look at the stats, but uh, they made some big play sack situations that you know really you know all that changes field position. But uh, they did a nice job. Um, and, you know, we had some other opportunities that penalties hurt us on some a couple big plays that we had. Uh, but I thought their defense did a fantastic job today. No different than any other experience. You know, I mean, the, I think the people here were um, not, you know, the fans here who I have a tremendous amount of respect for. They have tremendous spirit for their school and pride in their state. Um, and certainly, you know, always remember the special things we were able to accomplish when we were here. And I have a special place in our heart. Our entire family does uh, for that and the relationships that we have. But um, it was not like it was before. I, I thought there were there was a lot of class, you, you know, by everybody around here in terms of um, how we were treated. Well, I, I think it's what I said before. I mean, my, my thing as a coach is still, are we the best team we can be? Are we playing the best football we can play? Are you playing as an individual the best you can be, the best you can play? And I'm talking about with effort, with toughness, with your discipline, to execute the things that you control. We're, we're not talking about being able to run faster or jump higher. Um, and that's always been the goal with this team. And I think if we would have made those improvements, we probably wouldn't be in the situation that we're in right now. And I think that's got to become the focus for this team. And if we'll do that, we'll be very competitive uh, and continue to improve. Um, and it will certainly show us what kind of character we have, competitive character we have, and what kind of pride we have as an organization, as a group, and as a team uh, to see how we respond to this. Well, I, I know two of them in the second half. Well, there's really three, you know, counting the reverse that you already asked about. Um, you know, guy coming off the edge, didn't check ahead of the play. The guy ran around him. Um, you know, we busted the coverage on the long one to number two. Uh, and uh, we should have been in a different personnel group and were outflanked on the one run 10 made. Um, and then the other one was a fake punt. We've already talked about that. So there's no common thread there. They're all different types of plays, and they're all different situations in the game. Um, but we, we, we weren't in the best position we could be in to stop those plays because of the way we adjusted or the mental errors that we made. One more. No, I, I think, you know, what, what you want guys to do and the way guys should compete in the game is you should play one play at a time in the game. You know, and you try to dominate the guy that you play against for every play that you play in the game. And you don't look at the scoreboard. All right, you don't do the emotional things that fans do and enjoy doing as a competitor. You know, you have to focus on what you're doing to do your job with effort, with toughness, and you got to enjoy doing that. And you got to be able to stay focused on that. And, you know, I'm not – naive enough to think that everybody's not out there playing to win, but the way you win, the way you win, all right, is how you compete, how you play, how you execute, 
for 60 minutes in a game. And the score doesn't really matter. Your record shouldn't matter. And, you know, when you get that with your team, then I think you can become a good team because you've got a critical mass of players on your team who are having that kind of attitude. And then that develops sort of a chemistry and a respect and a trust that um, makes you a great team. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.